Hello, this video is to show you the Office Suite options available to you as an adjunct faculty member of Ashland University. We're going to go over how to best utilize the online version of Microsoft products you have access to, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, among others, as well as how to use free desktop Microsoft Office Suite alternatives, of which you have a few options there as well. And finally, if you have an AU computer, troubleshooting your Microsoft Desktop Office Suite access if suddenly you lose it. As an adjunct faculty member, you have access to the online versions of Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. To get to those and be able to utilize them, you can head to www.office.com, click sign in, and sign in with your at ashland.edu email address. Once you're signed in, you'll encounter this screen, and you'll see links on the left-hand navigation to get to your Outlook email inbox, Teams, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. If you click on apps, it'll show all of the apps that you have access to. If you click on all apps, it'll show even more. And you can also use the search bar at the top to be able to get to the application that you would like to use. The online versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint work very similarly to Google Drive applications, Docs, Sheets, and Slides, in that when you click on the application and open it up, you can bring up different documents by double-clicking on them. The best application to head to inside of office.com is OneDrive, because this will let you see all of your files, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and be able to click on any one to start editing it. If we head back to OneDrive via office.com, in addition to creating new documents, you're able to upload documents from your computer or upload entire folders from your computer, so that way you're able to start editing documents. When grading papers, it can be clunky to go into the learning management system, download a paper, go into office.com, upload the paper, work on the paper, download the file from office.com, and then re-upload the file back into the learning management system for every single paper that you need to grade for a student. And thankfully, we don't need to do that. In the bottom left-hand corner of the OneDrive section of office.com, you'll see this link that says get the OneDrive apps. And this will work if you're utilizing your own personal computer where we can download this application, or if you're on an Ashland University owned machine, then this application will already be installed. We click here and I'm taken to a screen where I am able to download OneDrive, or if I already have it installed, start OneDrive. If you're using a Windows 11 personal computer, OneDrive may already be installed on your PC. When I've installed OneDrive, what will happen is on my computer, I'll see a folder with a cloud icon next to it. And this is my OneDrive folder. So that any files I save to this folder are automatically going to sync with OneDrive, which means that if I drop a Word file, an Excel file, a PowerPoint file into this folder, I'm going to see it show up in a peer on office.com and OneDrive. So rather than have to download a file and upload it, I can download a file, make sure that it is placed in the OneDrive folder on my computer, and then it's instantly going to appear for me to start working on it in my web browser via OneDrive.com. To make it easy to put files into my OneDrive folder whenever I download them from online, I can go into my web browser. Right now I'm using Chrome and go to the settings. Heading to the settings in Chrome. One of the options on the left-hand navigation menu is downloads. And then there's a button I can toggle to ask what to do with each download. If I turn this on, whenever I download a file, I'll get asked where I want to put that file. So whenever I download a document, Excel file, or PowerPoint file, I can choose to put it in my OneDrive folder, so that way I can instantly start working on it. We're gonna use the example that I'm working in a learning management system. So here I have Lantern open, and I need to download a document. So I'm going to download this document, and I'm being asked where I want to save it. So I can save it, hit save as, and choose to put it in my OneDrive folder. I'll save it here. Now back inside of OneDrive, I can see that the file that I have just saved to that folder has instantly appeared in my OneDrive web editor where I can click into it 
and immediately start working on it in the web version of Microsoft Word. When I'm done, I don't even need to hit save. The changes are saved automatically and I can close out of this file. If I go back to the learning management system and I'm ready to upload this document, I can pick the file from my cloud folder, which is my OneDrive folder, go down and select the same file and then click open to upload it. So you can see how with the desktop version of OneDrive working on my computer, I don't need to individually upload files to office.com and then download them once I've edited them. I can simply put them in the cloud folder, make changes to them online, and then when I'm ready to upload them to another place, upload them from the cloud folder as well. To give an example inside of the Blackboard Learning Management System, that means when you see the Browse Cloud Service button, you can choose OneDrive to be able to search for and insert files direct from OneDrive, or you're able to choose Browse Local Files Again, hit the cloud icon for your OneDrive folder and select the file from there that you would like to put into the learning management system. If you are looking for a desktop-based Word and Excel and slide authoring tool or an Office suite, then I recommend WPS Office. This is a freemium product, meaning that throughout the experience, you may be served ads or opportunities to pro version of the software but its menus most closely resemble that of Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint compared to some other free alternatives that exist, such as LibreOffice or FreeOffice. To try out or get started with WPS Office, you can visit WPS.com and click the free download button. We'll open this file, and this will start downloading and installing WPS Office. Once WPS has finished its install, we can click on Get Started with WPS without checking this box, which will download this extra program. We can optionally create an account to sign in with, but for now, I'm just going to use this software as a guest. Using WPS Office, we can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and you'll notice as we go into a blank document that the ribbon at the top very closely resembles what we're used to working with in the Microsoft tool set. I can open existing files or start new ones. And when I go to save files by default, they save as the office file type. So dot docx dot xlsx. What I like about WPS is that you can open multiple types of documents and it uses this tab format. So you can easily switch back and forth between a spreadsheet and a Word document, for example. When you install WPS by default, when you go into your file system and click on a document, then it opens inside of the WPS program. Finally, if you're working on an AU computer and all of a sudden you have a message appear in your Word, Excel, and PowerPoint that you are locked out or unable to use these programs, it means that your computer has lost its connection with Ashland University's network. It's fallen out of Active Directory and rather than syncing up your license that says, yes, you have the ability to use Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, instead it's looking at your Microsoft license on your Ashland account, which says that you do not have permission to use these programs. So to correct this, you'll want to double check and make sure that your VPN is connected. If the problem persists even after you've gotten connected, then please reach out to IT for help at either kbox.it.ashland.edu where you can submit a ticket or give us a call at 419-289-5405. So there you have it, how best to use the online version of Office with the OneDrive desktop app, as well as how to use WPS Office if you're looking for a desktop Word authoring tool, and what to do if your Ashland issued devices versions of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint quit working on you.